Hey guys, it's Ubis Tech here. Today's video is on Exodus ROM. So, as you can see here, we're on the nightly of the 3rd of October. So, to get things started off right away, we'll talk about battery life. As you can see here, I'm on 13%, which gives us a good indication of what are my battery life today. Uh, earlier today I had a crash, so around 10% has been knocked off the battery. So keep that in mind. Uh, as you can see, I've, had, I've got 3 hours and 30 minutes screen on time, which is really good for a st uh, stock based ROM. And here are some of the apps that I've been used in. The brightness is at 50%. With my kernel settings set to minus 20 MV for underclock and the governor is lying hot. Now let's get on to features. One of my favourite features has to be fast charge. So if we go to hardware, as you can see here, it's enabled. Um, I have managed to get my, uh, my device to charge from 0 to 100% in under an hour, which is just fantastic. Another feature of this ROM is uh, it has morph mode. So if we go uh, go back to settings, go to developer options, and as you can see, a morph, uh, morph mode. You can choose whichever um, one you want. For example, if you want uh, the sound sound mode layout or the ASAP. So now that we're on performance, here it goes. Performance is very good, as you can see here. Uh, there's no lag, no. Yeah, basically no lag. Um, this is because of kernel tweaker. You can change whatever settings you want. So if you go to the CPU, to show you my layout, I've got Lionheart enabled, and I have undervolted it. So with the vast amount of different governors, there's always one that will suit your need. Uh, one thing to keep in mind though is with this kernel interactive is bugged. It, uh, it's very unstable if you run interactive. Animations will be very slow and you will get the occasional crash. So now that we've done performance um, this now leads on to stability. As I, um, I told you before on battery I, I had a crash here. I have, on average, got around a crash a day. If that, that may bother some, but to me, not really. Another bug is um, this isn't just about this ROM, but Sound Tune Mod as general is the Wi Fi. If you turn, keep on turning it on, or, uh, on and off, you will eventually force the whole OS to reboot itself. So that's the ability done. Now on to the camera. As you can see here, I am using camera FE5, which produces very natural pictures, being able to change a lot of the features. For example, the focus mode or the light metering mode. I use camera FV5 because the plain stock camera app is just terrible. Wait, where is that? To add to this, I also run a camera mod. The camera mod is known as uh, LG G3 Audio Image Optimize. This helps with many things, uh, one being the contrast for, uh, for images and, so and stuff. But overall, it does, well, it is a major improvement over the original Google camera. But another thing to keep in mind if you're flashing this ROM is the picture qualities are nowhere near as good as stock um, LG UX4 ROM or the G, uh, UX3 ROM for that matter. So I'll leave some, uh, I'll leave a link below to all the, to some sample photos. Overall, Exodus ROM is very hard to beat. This is mainly because of the battery life. 
So if we have a look at another screenshot that I've taken. As you can see here, I've got another 3 hours 34 minutes, but the thing to keep in mind, this huge steep here, um, I was running a benchmark. So without that, you, uh, you're more than likely to hit around 4 hours screen on time, which is on par with uh, Cloudy Run. Uh, thanks for watching guys, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe for more.